I have another wonderful product review to share with you today. Thank you, thank you so much to Bags AAA by Chris Luxury. I got a Gucci bag today, you guys. Oh my God, I am so thrilled. As you all know, these are replica bags, okay? They are so affordable. And I have a wonderful coupon code for you guys to use if you go over and check out this website and order something from them. So as I've shown you before, the boxes are very nice. They come in the nice cardboard box with the plastic, but I took it all out and I just brought the box out and you have the magnetic snaps on the boxes like I showed you in the last one, okay? But this box stands out because it's so beautiful. It looks like this with Gucci on it, okay? And then of course, we get our beautiful dust, dust bag that says Gucci on it. So nice with the drawstring, okay? So you can tighten it. And this bag is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. Perfect, perfect timing for the fall, okay? And it's a, a fantastic size, okay? Again, <clears throat> something that I would love to rock in church. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at these wooden handles. This is stands out from all the rest, okay, to me. It has the feet, which I have to take the wrapping off of it. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? You can see a little bit of indentation where it was in the box, but I'm going to take this wrapping off the hardware and come back and show you guys the rest of the sweet. bag. That also came with a Gucci sunglass holder. This is so cute. I didn't see this on the bottom of the bag, but that's an extra little bonus for your sunglasses, which I need right now. It came with these, I'm not sure, are these bracelets? Look at this, y'all. Are these bracelets that you could wear? I think they are. They are so beautiful. I was like, oh, what is this? And it does have the Gucci on, on it, if you can see it. So you get two of these that say Gucci. Isn't that nice? Oh my goodness. Then you get the belt. One of the belts that come with it looks like this. And look at the hardware on this, you guys. Look at this. This is just awesome. So this one, you hook like this. Uh, yeah, like that, okay? And then this one is the same, but they are gorgeous and they both have Gucci on them. If you could see that. So this is the shorter belt, okay? And it goes crisscross. They have the hooks inside the bag, which I will show you in a minute. But this is the belt that I really, really like because it's better for my shoulders. Look at this, y'all. Look how wide this belt is. Oh my God, this shoulder strap, excuse me. And look at how thick this leather is. It is absolutely gorgeous. And this is the hardware that's on this belt. It looks like this and you just do it like that to clasp it to your bag. And you have it on both sides and it looks like that. This is gorgeous. You can extend it to make it longer. You can make it shorter, your preference, whatever you want, okay? This is beautiful, y'all. I was looking to see if it had Gucci written on it, but I'm not seeing it anywhere on this belt, but this is the one I will be rocking with this bag. The hardware, the feet of this bag was so nicely covered with tape. They made sure that these feet did not get damaged. So this is what the feet look like. You get two on each side and one in the middle. So if you should happen to sit your bag on the floor, the only thing that's going to be touching the floor are the feet. I love that. I love that. Besides these handles... I love when my bags come with feet, okay? They have lots and lots of paper inside to hold the shape of the bag. And it is just beautiful. And you know, the more you use these bags, the softer they're going to get. So with it being brand new, it is a little on the stiff side, but it is absolutely beautiful, buttery leather. 
and you open it up and it looks like this and it has a pocket in here right there and it does have the logo on it I know you guys can't see it but then what I like a lot about this bag is the little lock that you can close your bag up with so you take this and it was little on the basic side but I got it <laughs> and then there's your bag it's closed it's locked so no sticky fingers can get into it this is absolutely absolutely gorgeous you guys i hope you guys will take advantage of this opportunity to check out bags triple a by chris luxury and all the information will be down in the description box i believe he i have a coupon code for eighty dollars off y'all eighty dollars off of this beautiful fall Gucci bag. All right, y'all. Let's hop right back into this Dollar Tree haul, and I hope you guys will at least check out their website. Thanks again to Bags AAA. I absolutely love your purses. Okay, guys. Hello, my beautiful sweets. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support you show my channel. I just can never stop saying thank you enough to everyone who supports my channel. Um, happy Friday to everyone. It's a beautiful day here in North Kakalaki. It is warm. It has been warm here for the last three days, you guys. I'm talking in the 80s, okay? But I'm not complaining because it's kind of fall leaves blowing all over the place, but the temperature, the AC is coming on. But y'all know, God is in complete control, okay? But I do have a rather medium-sized Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. Plus, I have a bonus, some bonus footage of another product review that a company reached out to me. Again, thank you, Bags AAA, for reaching out to me. This is my second collab with this company, and I absolutely, absolutely love their products. But without further ado, let's jump right into this Dollar Tree haul. Okay, my sweets, y'all know, grab and show, grab and show, right? I used up all my sandwich bags that I, um, packing my lunch for the last two weeks working the election, the early election and election day. So I needed to re-up on this. And the only ones that I saw that I think I might like is the Handy Wrap new zipper seal. I've showed you guys these in a previous walkthrough, but I did not purchase them. I typically go for the Glad or the Hefty, whatever, but this is 40 um, sandwich bags. So, you know, I grab these because I like to pack um, snacks and stuff to put in my purse and they say they're new. I don't know what's new about them, but let's check it out. Okay. Yeah. They look pretty much just like the ones I used for the last two, three weeks, and they have the little zipper seal, which can, be, which can be a little dicey sometimes, but if you take your time, you know, and take your fingers and just press across the whole thing, you could, you will eventually get it. So yeah, they look just like the ones I already had, so that's good. So I grabbed those. And then this is a combination of some old items that I purchased a while ago and just been sitting here and a few new new items that I just found recently. But this is one of the newer items that I just found recently and I really did not need this. But y'all know, I love coffee and I'm curious. I want to try it. So it's Supreme Ground Coffee, 100% Arabica, great blend, family owned. It says it's a medium roast, medium bodied and balanced taste. It's a 0 0.4, oh, it's four ounces, and it has a uh, best before January of 2026. And it was such a little pretty packaging, I figured I, if I didn't use it, I could gift it, make a gift package with some of the, you know, oven mitts and spatulas or put some cookie mix or something in there. So, yeah, I just picked up, I just picked up one because I was curious. Y'all know, curiosity kills the cat. <laughs> and I told you guys when I showed you this before, this is a repurchase. I just went and got another one. I told you I was going to get another one. This is Concord Fresh, Fresh Success Southern Style Greens and Kale Seasoning Mix. It says just add collard greens or kale. So I showed you this before, but I did go back and get another package. 
because you know we love our greens especially on the holidays so I said I was going to get another one of these and I believe that expiration date was in the the bag I'm trying to see it it says uh, I'm not even going to look okay it, it just frustrates me because I don't want to be old I don't want to get old I don't want my eyesight to decrease like it is but anywho let's move right along okay <laughs> I found these um Campbell's, and I've never seen this in a Dollar Tree before. This is Campbell's Country Style Sausage Gravy. It says it's made with real sausage. It's, um, let's see what's in here. Ingredients is water, sausage, pork seasoning, um, spices, etc., etc. But I thought this was nice for, you know, 10, it's 10.5 ounce can. And I thought this was great to make breakfast in the morning when I'm, visiting with my family over the holidays because I will be staying with my sister, my older sister at her house for Thanksgiving and probably for Christmas because my younger sister's home is not quite ready yet to entertain. So I found this and all you got to do is get some biscuits, get some sausage, add it to it, juice it up, make it your own as per usual. I know the sodium is typically high on items like this but I didn't care because I'm not eating it every day. So let me see where the sodium is. Mm, da, 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 da. Not seeing it. Where's the sodium? Oh, yeah, 250 milligrams. Um, yeah, 250 milligrams per quarter cup. So I did get that because it looked good and I've never seen this in the dollar. I've never even seen this in the grocery store. I know they have the sausage gravy mix everywhere in the packets and stuff, but I've never seen these. Okay, so. This is one of the older items that I found a while ago and they've just been sitting here. This is the, what is it? Glory Boxers. I think it's size extra long, one pack of men's boxer briefs. And I know these are not going to fit my brothers, but I figured maybe I could rock them. Victory League um, men's boxers. We've seen these before floating around. And I just got one pack of the boxers, just like I did the, um, the tank, the t-shirts, just to see, you know, what they look like. And the tank top did not fit me. <laughs> It was just too, too small, so I will just give that away or donate it or whatever. And I'm going to open this real quick and see. It does have a refillable bag, so you can put them back in there. These look like la, 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 la. Okay, I might be able to rock these, y'all. Yes, I might be. And I love that black strap around it. So this is what they look like. I wish I had gotten more because I love to lounge around the house you know, in men's apparel. <laughs> so I like those. Those are very, very nice. Okay. Wish I had gotten more, but I ran out of Tylenol. I have been buying the little um, box of Tylenol from the Dollar Tree where you only get four, you know, caplets in it. But my back has been requiring me to take Tylenols every night before I lay down. So I found, I found the Value Health by Spirit. It says it compares to extra strength, extra strength Tylenol caplets, active ingredients, pain reliever, acetaminophen, 500 milligrams, but here you get 40 caplets and it's extra strength. So I was like, why not? Let me give it a try. You know, because I was like, uh, yeah, I need my Tylenols and y'all know money is funny at rent time, but praise God the rent is paid. So, um, yeah, I picked those up. I don't remember ever seeing these. Now, y'all correct me if I'm wrong because this box was all by itself. It was not where the rest of the um, aspirins and painkillers were supposed to be. So somebody had changed their mind. And I just don't ever remember seeing these. But it expires on June of 2027. So for 40 caplets for $1.25 compared to 4 yeah, I'll take it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, it looks like the rest of this haul is Christmas related. So, we're going to jump right in it. Okay. I did pick up one of these little um, Christmas house pot mitts. Uh, seven and 
12.4 inches by 8 inches, 100% cotton, and they do have the pot holders and the dish towels to match this, but the only reason I picked it up was because it had the pocket on the back. Y'all see the turkey one, the fall one, right, for the fall. These are a little bit smaller than these. I said, I looked at this and I was like, these are really, really small, but they'll still work. You could put some of the Christmas spatulas in the back of this. Like I said, you could coffee if you could get one or maybe a um, cookie mix or something and make it a gift for someone. So I am going to be going back and getting a couple more of these. Both of my local Dollar Trees have them. So I picked that up. And then this is what I was talking about. I found these a while ago, y'all. And I'm trying to get this stuff situated. Yeah, there it is. I found the baking spatulas, and y'all know I go for the baking spatulas every season. Whatever they come out with, Easter, Valentine's, you know, fall, I love them. And you get a bonus because you get two. So these are by uh, Christmas House Baking, two-piece silicone spatulas for $1.25. And I just loved them from the very first time I saw them. And I had only seen them in one store at one time, and now all the stores have them. So you get the two wooden spatulas, and I think my sister Nettie loves these. So I got one for each sister, one pack for each sister. And if Odessa didn't find them yet, I got one for her. So I picked up four of these, like this. And this is a perfect example of what I was saying about the pot holder. You know, you could, um, get off me. You could put this in the back of that pot holder, okay? And then maybe some cookie mix or whatever, whatever you choose, uh, maybe some Christmas candy or something, and just make it a nice little gift. You know, that would be so pretty. So, yeah, that's what that's my plan. That's what I plan on doing. Okay, okay. my sweets. I really, really wanted to get this whole set. That I'm getting ready to show you, but every store that I went to and found the pot holders, the oven mitt, they smelled. They had a terrible, terrible smell. And I went to the smaller Dollar Tree and they put theirs out and I smelled it again. A terrible smell. And I only use these for decoration. So I don't want to wash them, then have to iron them and all that. Eh. So I just got the dish towel. I found one dish towel that actually did not have that funky, musty smell. It smelled like they had been packed away for years, okay? This one did not, and that's the only reason why I purchased it, but I would have loved to have had the whole set with the gnome with his buffalo check hat on, and it's just so cute with the little gifts. I really would have invested in the whole set if they hadn't had that funky smell to them. So be careful. If you see these and you look in your Dollar Tree, make sure you smell them. These are microfiber kitchen towels, 100% polyester, 15 inches by 25 inches. And it's by Christmas House for a dollar twenty-five. Okay. But I love that. And it's so soft. So anyway, I digress. Okay. <laughs> And then I picked up a few new Christmas ornaments that I found a while ago. And these just look new to me, but I'm just, they got a lot of glitter, you know? So I got to get some hairspray from the Dollar Tree so I can hairspray this stuff. But these look new to me. They had them in different colors. I can't remember them. Silver, gold maybe. Because I picked these up out in Zebulon. Um, North Carolina a while ago, that was the first place I saw the actual new ornaments that they, that they brought out so far at the Dollar Tree. So I got those. Okay. And then I picked up these two because I thought these were really, really cute. But again, the glitter is real. These are all Greenbrier products. Um, they're all by Greenbrier. This one had the little deer and the white Christmas tree. The little pine um, needles on the back. Oh, I'm showing you the back. This is what it looks like on the front. And it's Christmas house ornament. And you turn it over and it looks like this on the back. Which I thought was very, very cute. But again, the glitter. Dollar Tree. Ease up on the glitter, please. I mean, I like glitter. But, ooh, not so much. Because I have it all over my face. 
all over my all in my hair <laughs> so I can see it sparkling on my hands right now but I did pick up this one because this one was actually my favorite this was the deer with the um, I think that's gold but I like that one that was so nice with the pine needles and again you turn it on the back side and it looks like that so I picked these up yeah a long time ago but oof the glitter mm-hmm the glitter the glitter the, oh my god I'm brushing it all off of me Whew. okay I digress <laughs> I showed you guys these in a previous walkthrough a while ago I found these um, by Christmas house these are this is a beaded garland and I just thought these were so so pretty for a dollar twenty five okay it looks like this and it says it is 48 by 0 0.47 inches and it has like the beige, the red, and the white beads on it. And we're gonna cut this baby open and see how she uh, really, how long she really is because I have all my Christmas stuff together that I've purchased so far. Every year I say I'm not gonna purchase more Christmas stuff, but y'all know. That goes right out the door as soon as you walk in Dollar Tree. <laughs> but this is what they look like. Great tear tray. Um, garnishes or I could just drape them across my backdrop but yeah this is what they look like and they feel really really nice and some of the beads have the flat side on them like that you see that I just thought they were cool I'm like the first pair that I found it was like they were all styrofoam and I was like no thank you mm -mm. okay, my okay. I can resist this um, Santa he was just so cute this, again, Christmas house, $1.25. They had this one in the gray, which I'm getting ready to show you. And they also had it in, I think, white. I'm not quite sure. I've forgotten because it's been so long. So it's a Christmas house ornament. And it's the Santa. His hands would look a little big for his body, but <laughs> we could put some gar some um, floral in there to make him look like he's holding something, or maybe one of the miniature gifts. You know, as I always say, zhuzh him up. But I could not resist him. His hair, his hat was so cute. So they did have another color, and I believe it was white. So this is what this looks like, and I thought he was so cute with his little black boots and his gray, um, you know, coat and hat. So I did pick him up, okay? And this is something that I double purchased because I could not remember if I had gotten it. I had just showed you guys this in the last haul or a haul before last, the welcome. <laughs> I knew I picked this mug up when I first saw it, y'all. But y'all know... That brain cannot think clearly. So I got two of these now, but I might bless my sister with one or return this and exchange it for something else. But I did get the matching saucer the same time when I found them. The very first time in Wake Forest, I found this set and I couldn't remember. And when it came down here to my local stores, I was just standing there going, didn't I get him? Did I get him? And I just grabbed it because I don't want it to sell out until I make sure. So I can take it back and exchange it for something else. You don't even need a receipt. If you're just exchanging it for something else, you don't even need your receipt. Not here in my local Dollar Trees anyway. But yeah, this is by Royal, Royal Norfolk and it just says a plate. And I just love that, that pattern, that blue. Oh my God, it's just gorgeous to me. I don't know y'all, y'all tell me they had the gingerbread one the snowman one and something else i can't remember them all i showed them to you in a walkthrough so and i don't know why i purchased this but i knew i had a reason y'all know we got these sweater mugs last year and i blessed my other my older sister with one and i have one but for the life of me because the stuff was sitting here so long I can't remember why I bought this. So I'm hoping it will come back to me. But this year they had the, they had them in what, three colors, white, green, and red. Hmm, I'm not sure. But anyway, I did pick up another one of these microwave safe, dishwasher safe, and they're very nice, but they came out last year. So 
But yeah, it's so cute and cozy for a cup of hot chocolate or some chai tea, you know. So hopefully it will come back to me as to why I bought that. Because I had, I know in my mind I had a reason for buying that. And the next item was I saw these ornaments earlier when they first started putting out the Christmas stuff. And I don't believe we had these last year. Some people said we did. But if we did, we specifically in my area did not get these or I can't remember. I may open my snap, my stash and they will be there. But anywho, I digress. I love them and I'm going to use them as tags on my Christmas gifts. One says Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Be Joyful. Um, what does that say? Tidings of comfort and joy, wishing you a Merry Christmas, and tis the season to be jolly. And to get six of these size tags for a dollar twenty-five to me was absolutely phenomenal. I'm like, how could you pass this by? So I will be able to gift make my gifts up and put some of these tags on. And as you can see, it has the jute twine on the back of them. Okay, but look at that. Isn't that a bargain? I don't, I don't know, you guys. You tell me. I just thought they were gorgeous, and I didn't care whether or not. I just don't remember seeing anything like this. The different ribbons. You got the uh, gingham, the regular ones, and I just thought, uh, oh, my God, those are gorgeous. So I did pick those up. And they've been sitting here a while, y'all. And I've got glitter all over me. This glitter, glitter, glitter. And I showed you guys this in a previous walkthrough. And I think we've all seen this now. This is a giant, giant ornament um, decor piece. This just says Happy Holidays. But it has my red birds on it, y'all. Look at the size of this thing, y'all. So it looks like an ornament, you know, with the little... 10 up here and it's just that press board but this is gonna go right up on my wall and again I'm going to have to spray it because of all the glitter but they had a blue one too that I'm on the fence I'm still on the fence about purchasing that one but I I may end up going back and purchasing that blue one because it was equally as beautiful so I did pick that up Okay. okay, my sweets, coming up to the end of this Dollar Tree haul for today, I found these um, decorative picks in my local Dollar Tree on Raleigh Road, and they just look so beautiful and so different, maybe new, I'm not sure. They have four different um, decors. The one with the red berries, I believe I showed you in a previous walkthrough. I did not get them because I think I have plenty of those from you know year prior years but i thought this one with the blueberries on it and the leaves and i mean the um what do you call these i forgot and the pine cone and it just says decorative pick i did see some really beautiful um like weeping um foliage but i haven't purchased it yet i don't know if i'm going to get it or not but I love this with the blueberries. They had this tucked down on the bottom of a their um, weekly wow on the back side, all the way down on the bottom. Like, how's people gonna see those? Well, I saw them. <laughs> I saw them, and I love this one as well. This is white, and I might have to glue this leaf back up because it pulled down just ever so slightly. But isn't that gorgeous, y'all? Doesn't that remind you of winter? I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Yeah, see, she's coming off. She's trying to come off a little bit. But it was hard because I had to really, really tangle them out of there because they just had them all thrown in the box together. And so they were all tangled around each other. But I'll just put a little dollop of hot glue on that and it'll be just fine. But again, just decorative picks from Christmas House. So I just love that white one. That was really, really unique to me. But this one definitely blew me away. And I hate getting the ones with the berries because they can break and chip so easily. But again, we're going to work it out. But this one was with fruit, y'all. I was like, what? When did we start making decorative picks with the... I mean, I know we have the fruit and stuff, but I've never seen the Christmas um, picks at the Dollar Tree with the fruit on them. And I was just like, oh, yes, you're coming home with me. 
<laughs> and again, I will have to zhuzh it up, glue a little, you know, fix it up because again, they were entangled around each other. But isn't that beautiful? I just thought that was absolutely gorgeous. So I got one of each of those. And the last item for in this haul, I hope I have a, yeah. This is from the Dollar Tree Plus, and I was showing you guys this a while ago. This is called Days Till Christmas, and I love this because it's not too big. It's Countdown to Christmas Decor. It's $3, Greenbrier International, and it's just a gnome with his buffalo check hat on. And I just thought he was so cute. And for $3, I thought that was really, really a good deal. And it won't take up a lot of space in your decor. Because as y'all know, I'm trying to downsize on my background decor. As much as I love it, it's just becoming a little too much for me as I get older. You know, things have to change sometimes. But I thought this was the perfect size. I've seen so many beautiful items in the Dollar Tree Plus that I would love to have, but I just don't need, okay? But I did pull the trigger and get this one because I, I was absolutely in love. And they had other ones as well, but this is the one I chose. But that is it for today, my sweets. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. I hope and pray that you will check out the website, Bags Triple A. They have gorgeous, gorgeous bags for affordable prices. If you can't afford the real deal, holy feel, this is the next best step. And if you use my coupon code, you can get $80 off. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you guys so very, very much. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.